Hey, yo, this is another episode of the Steven from the Old Time Podcast. Listen to my dad. He's awesome. Welcome to a new episode of Steven from the Old Time Podcast. I am your host, the Ayatollah Hip Hop, the whole damn show the Rated R podcaster, and one half of the tag team champions, Del Mundo, with my co-host tonight. Here hey, he yo. is. Hey, yo, here I am. It's Milenko, the man with many titles, with all the titles. How you doing, man? I'm good. Yourself? Good, dude. This is a great weekend, huh? Let's, you want to get started right away? I'm ready to start right away. I know you're excited. Give me one second. Just give yeah. me one second. You said that it's been a... It's a big weekend. That's what you said, or a great weekend? Yeah, great weekend. Another fantastic Friday release of hip hop music. What a no, month. What a it, month. To end off March on such a fucking banger is insane. I'm going to say this so far, and with these releases. 2024 is kicking 2023's ass already yes because we're gonna say that at the end of the show there's a couple of releases coming out they're gonna slap people in the face i'm excited like this weekend last week was amazing it was amazing usually i have fridays off from work this week unfortunately i had to work but just being in the element of new albums coming out, not knowing which one you want to pick to go first, second, and then end off with that. Oof. Anyways, I'm just saying it, it was <laughs> huge. I'm I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And one more thing I want to say. The cherry on top from all of this coming out is Riggs is back. Riggs is back after taking a year off. Okay, remember last episode I said Riggs hasn't been around. We have the new Mooch album coming out. Mm -hmm. Riggs hasn't been around. Riggs is finally back. Okay, he's going to pull a Triple H when Triple H got injured and he came <laughs> back after a year and won the Royal Rumble. I'm telling you, Riggs is back. Riggs is going to do the same exact thing. I am so happy that he's back. Can't wait for the new music to come out. Yeah, that's good. That's a good news. Good okay, news. so Friday, Friday was big. Uh, we had three major albums come out okay three major al albums come out on friday we had mooch rockstar mm -hmm. we had vega seven the ronin with body bag ben yeah kawasaki killers okay that has three different album covers fyi they're all dope okay, vega, well <laughs> vega got all just dope covers all the time okay and we had Rock Marciano, um, um, Marciology. Okay. Oof, the Godfather is back. Okay. Oh, man. So just imagine, just imagine the anticipation. Look Friday. at my face, how excited I am for that Rock Marci fucking dude. I was so happy. And uh, I'm happy that we review. I think it's the first time we can review an album on here. Of Rock Marciano? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, you're not wrong. This is the first time we're reviewing a Rock Marcy project. We could do a whole Rock Marcy episode, but well, Yo, another time. The, you got to listen to the Abyss podcast. The Abyss podcast did a uh, top five. Uh, all three of them had to, do, had to put their top five Rock Marcy projects. And that was a killer episode. It made mm. me go back. And go listen to every single Rock Marcy project and try and put a top five. And I'm telling you, when I sent in my top five, the day after my top five changed. It, it, oh, you, for it, sure. It's tough. It's, it's impossible. Tough. It's impossible. It's and speaking and speaking of the Abyss podcast, Lukey Cage put out his album last week, last Wednesday, True. Collusive Partisans. Okay. Yeah. Let me just tell you, I'm enjoying that album like crazy. I am enjoying that album like crazy. This is his third or fourth project that he puts out. And it just reminds me and it should remind people how much storytelling and hip hop is important. And it's still uh, alive. It's and, still it's, alive. and it's still alive. And bringing a sound like this 
into hip hop and continuing it. Okay. And just, it, it, it kind of gives you like a different aspect of what hip hop is, you know, the fun side of hip hop, the like, like instead of like you said last last episode you know a lot of artists they give you the same thing but it's how they give it to you that mm -hmm. really makes them stand out this album really gives you like a like a different light of hip-hop like that yep. prince paul remember prince paul's albums and the stuff he did with the last soul yeah yeah like it kind of brings that back yeah like yeah. it's interesting like it's like it's like it's like an unfolding story i love it I, I haven't it. listened I'm, to it yet. You I'm gotta listen to it because, man, they, we've been busy for March. But I, I'll I'll take a look for sure. When it came out, it was the midweek. It was on Wednesday, so I was like, I'm off. There's nothing to do. I'm I'm excited. This is out. I popped it in, and it made me go back after, after like three, four, five times. I was in like it was like reading a book, and laughing yeah, while I'm reading the book. It gave me different feelings. I'm enjoying it like crazy. I'm enjoying it like crazy. That's it. Uh, Shout out to them. Shout out to Lukey Cage for real, man, and the stuff he's done on this with uh, Primo Jab, uh, Carl, uh, production that Carl did on here. There's Mondo Slade on here. Uh, I'm, 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 it's, it's, it's really something interesting to go and check out for sure, 110%. Uh, and Primo Jab's got an album coming out too. So man, that, so many albums coming out. Hip hop is in the best place it's been ever. Correct me if I'm wrong. Fight me if I'm wrong. Let's get into this because I'm sweating already. So we're going to do Mooch first. Yeah, go ahead. Start it. I, I know made, you were excited I, for this one. I made a mistake. Okay, I said Mooch's new album, Rockstar. DJ Muggs. Yeah. El yeah. Capitano. No? Dude, dude. Huh? He a legend, huh? He a legend, dude. He a legend. DJ Muggs and Mooch. Mm -hmm. Rockstar. Coming in at 12 songs, 28 minutes. Yep. Okay. I'm going to say this. And people might like it. People might not. But this is Mooch's best project. I, 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 I posted after two, three times of listening to it. This mm -hmm. is Mooch's best project. Nice. That's good. Okay. And the reason being is because DJ Muggs produced him. He gave him that uh, production value, okay? It yep. makes it it makes him stand out amongst all his projects. You see a different light of Mooch. You get to know who Mooch is on the album, like mm. just the two first songs, the intro, um, and uh, Soul Screaming, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so Rockstar yep. and and Soul Screaming. It's it's not the Mooch you you're used to hearing. It's not the hard hitting Mooch. When you start a Mooch album. It's like getting an F5 or getting put <laughs> through a table. No, the intensity. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of, I kind of relate Mooch to Brock Lesnar. Like when Brock Lesnar fights like a Spike Dudley, right? <laughs> like, like when, when, when Brock Lesnar came into WWE, WWF, yeah. he was a beast. He would just smash people, give them beatings and like yeah, you two, just three minutes, people all the time. put people through tables, <laughs> hit people across the head with a chair. Spike Dudley, remember the power bombs he gave Spike Dudley? Yep. yep. When you listen to a Mooch album, it's kind of the same effect you get. It's intense. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. raw. It's mm -hmm. in your face. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I hear that. I hear that. As soon as, like, when Rockstar started, and you hear the wind in that motherfucker. There's wind in there. It's like cold, right? Right of a sudden, and it went that started line. When I'm from Rochester, New York, like God damn it, okay. But the difference between his past project and this is, it's kind of like when Brock Lesnar fought Kurt Angle. There was a balance, right? Did he tried to backflip at the end. <laughs> yes. Did he try to moonsault at on the Mazda? End? <laughs> and he landed on his on, head on the song Mazda. <laughs> Mazda, yeah. yeah. Okay, so. DJ Muggs, DJ Muggs gives him a different type of energy. The beats aren't intense. There's not always yep. heavy drums on it. It's not always that spooky sound. It's not always that weird sound. He gives you like the trumpets. He gives you the the drums. He gives you the guitar. What's that song with the? Uh, it's just guitar. Man, there's a lot, but I mean, there's a a cut that's very different. There's a uh, walk yours. Walk yours is like more soulful. With, uh, with rigs, yeah. 
Yeah, right? with rigs and the ad libs. And this is not your typical uh, DJ Muggs type of type of beats. He gave him something different. But just look at the Mooch's voice on the first song. Mm -hmm. He sounds like he's on a speakerphone, but it yep. kind of elevates him. It kind of elevates him in a different light, seeing him doing different styles of songs. Yep. And like even like songs like Uncut Hope, Trumpets, mm -hmm. Belly, mm -hmm. uh, you kind of like step back and be like, wow, this dude is really good. Like this dude is really, really, really good. It kind of is like a, it's like a growth album for him. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can get, I can see that. I mean, I want to let you talk first. I'm gonna let you talk first. Why? Because you have some negative stuff to say. Oh. Yes, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I will let you talk first. Uh, I know you're excited for this, man. So I went and out for this one. I went extra blind. I didn't even look at the title of the album. I didn't even look at the number of songs at the runtime. Nothing. I just play. I just press play. And I let it go. Okay, so go give me give me your stuff. I I yeah, said I mean, everything I had to say. Yeah, I, I I all these albums, you know, man. I work I I work for this podcast, dude. I work for this podcast. Thank I you. I notes. appreciate it. Yep. We um I listened to all these albums like six times, bro. So um, and all different aspects. So in the car, at work, in the headphones while I'm walking. So all of them, but. Uh, I mean, to me, I, I thought it was underwhelming. I thought it was underwhelming. I thought I, I was expecting a bit more. Explain. I don't want to. I really don't want to go. I, I know you were excited. I was waiting for you first to say your stuff because I don't want to be the downer that much. The Debbie Downer. But, You're a Debbie Downer. You're becoming a Debbie Downer. Continue. I, 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 I know I'm, be, I'm not fucking. I, I hate it. I'm becoming a hater sometimes. That's not like a hater, but. I I I appreciate it. I mean, it, it doesn't do much for me. This album, you have four songs under two minutes. I think it, it's like okay, we got a great idea, but where do we go with it? Nowhere. Um. And uh, yeah, like uncut hope. Okay, uncut hope is the best example to me. How can you give that beat a minute forty? I, I get I get what you're saying with the, Man, the, the like, one minute forty two minute I mean, songs. Like, if you go and I went back and this album made me went, go back and listen to all the DJ Musk collabs albums, right? Mm -hmm. And man, it doesn't get close. Like it's all thirty, forty minutes. Like with the crime apples, it's forty minutes, but you don't get a minute and a half songs in there. You get one cut or two cuts, like. You know, you get 10 songs, 30 minutes, uh, 12 songs, 40 minutes. So I get it. But um, I think it was a product of the weekend because I'm going to talk about it later a bit. But I think some of the listens I gave to the other albums affected this one. But for me, I, I, thought, I think it's just weird. And I'm going to ask you this question, okay? And I'm gonna ask you, I'm asking this question in general, like, why DJ you're with DJ Muggs, you're Mooch, okay? Mm -hmm. You're an up and coming underground artist. Doing a a, a project with Muggs is up there with like doing a like that's a, a big step in your career. Mm -hmm. That's huge. So for me to just go 27 minutes, you go chorus, 16 chorus, and that's your song. Like, why? I don't get it. Here, I'm going to tell you this. Maybe doing too much wouldn't be as meaningful. Do you get what I mean? I yeah, find there's maybe. a lot there's a lot of meaning to yeah. working with a producer like DJ Muggs. And for the one minute, 42 minute songs, to me, mm -hmm. those songs stand out. Those are some of my favorite songs because there's not too much going on. And there's no, there's nothing to... I mean, what? The, like, look at the intro. Yeah. Look at the intro. Rock I like star. the intro. I like the intro. It it gives me a stepping stone to what the album is gonna sound like. Yeah. You get what but, I mean? Dude, I went extra. When that rock star started, I went. You know what my first thought is? Oh, oh Mooch is serious. I went like Mooch is serious. This is gonna be the best. 
but he is serious on this. And I don't mean he's not serious, but you want okay. In my mind, mean. I put myself in his shoes, and I'm like, dude, let's take soccer because I'm a soccer fan. Okay, if I made the team with Cristiano Ronaldo, dude, I'm not gonna play five minutes and get out. I'm gonna do the That's whole true. ninety. You know what I mean? True. I'm gonna do the whole ninety. I'm gonna sweat. I'm gonna fucking go at it. So for me, it makes like, why don't you go hard? And then this is, it's good. It's good. I'm not saying it's bad. I don't want to think people is bad. It's just underwhelming for me. I I was expecting way more trumpets. Uh, so Uncle to Hope is one of the. It's like you have a gem there. So why don't you fill it up? I know why, why you like that song, and I love it. And Man, I love it, bro. That bass, that yeah. bass is disgusting. The that bass line is disgusting. Yeah, and I was like, why don't you? If you don't, if you can't feel it, do a, a beat switch or give me a hook or give me a chorus inside. Give me progression in this song. So, and again, I'm gonna talk about one point later when we're gonna do the transition. I got two points. They're gonna rely, like um, tie everything up. But yeah, I, I mean, I don't. I, I think I'm the only one with I think I'm the only one because I saw the comments on people and people love this. I saw a lot of people thinking he, he sounds too much like West Side Gun. I who said that? A lot of comments I saw on YouTube. They those are people that go in somewhere with a closed ah, mind. It's like the same people that compare uh, Action Bronson to Ghostface. I never understood that one. <laughs> Me um, neither. It's just the tone of voice. That's pretty much because he has that's a high pretty pitch. Much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I think so. I don't feel like he sounds that way. Um, but yeah, it's just some songs. I like trumpet. For me, it's a it's a weird song. It's like the ad libs are louder than the actual voice. Uh, yeah, look, it, it just gave me that feel. Look, I'm and and I get where you're coming from. You can't always like yeah. something to a, to the magnitude that I sometimes like albums, mm -hmm. and I get that. But if we're if we're getting certain projects from a certain artist and then they change it up a bit and give us something not really in their element or in their element, but they kind of switch it up mm -hmm. or do something different along those lines, it takes us time to get used to. I'm yeah. telling you now, this album, you'll go put it back on in a month. You'll like it more. I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I don't I don't I don't. I the, for me, the big point when I hear this all the time, and I thought about this all the time, is like, why if you with DJ Muggs, you go, like, go at it, man. Just go at it. Make you're gonna gain listeners for this. So we're gonna see is it success, successful by the listeners he gets from this, honestly. But again, I think if we compare it to other, compare it to other DJ Muggs project, okay, where do you put this? I don't know. It's really hard because this is also an album where you're just like you're hearing a lot of intensity from DJ Muggs productions. Mm -hmm. Like, look at the album he put out last year, that compilation album with the different artists. Can't remember what it's called. I have it right here next to me. Yeah. Like it's it's banging. It's dark. It's mm -hmm. it, it's aggressive. And then you're getting something like this where you might be expecting a bit of aggressiveness and you're getting something else. Yeah. So you look at the artist as like, hey, Mooch could do A, Mooch could do B, Mooch could do C. It makes you appreciate the art form more. It makes you appreciate the sound and what they did together a lot more. To That's me, just you know, me. And again, I don't want to say too much. I, I, see, I, I honestly feel like I'm a hater right now. I You're not a hater. You've been just I, listening to too much it's just my booming opinion, in future. Dude. It's just my opinion, dude. That's it's fine. Just my opinion, okay? People don't get mad at me. It's just a fucking opinion, dude. How dare you? But, like, for me, all that puts in my mind is, like, he can't do a complete song. Mm. Dude, you talk about Future and Metro Boomin, okay? Future. We're, we're not structured, comparing. Structured. Future and Metro Boomin structured better songs than this. No. Hey, we, Steven, you have complete songs, Future. He but goes these in. But hold Future on a second. We can't Listen to that verse. Listen, and I like better the album than the one I will review it. Okay. He goes in, but again, I'm down. I want to put it right next to DJ Muggs. Okay. 
do you put put this over Crime Apple Project? Do you put this over a uh, Flea Lord Project? Do you put this over Yellow Wolf Project? Dude, Yellow Wolf had ten nine songs, thirty five minutes. I'm not listening to a Yellow Wolf DJ Muggs album. No offense, but take the full offense. Rome uh, Street. Are you putting this over Rome Street? Yeah, but but hold on a second. Mooch has songs on other projects where the songs are two minutes, a minute 45, two minutes 10. He and I'm going to tie this. that thing up on my next, on the next album. I'm going to tie my big point with that. And I know who to blame for that. I know who to blame. So, so we're... I got names, bro. I got names, bro. Never compare Mooch in future. Number two, <laughs> I I want I want your top two songs, top three songs. Go. I don't know why I said two. Top three songs on this. What what songs stand out for you? Mazda. I know, you're gonna see uncut hope, right? Uncut hope, but it's not enough. It's not enough. I. I... Mooch, Malenko wants more. Give no, him no, more. Mooch. DJ Mooch, Muggs, Malenko me, wants more. Dude, if he's listening. I need a third dude. one. If you're listening to me, dude, give me a hook. We're going to talk about the next album. You want to give your notes on this? Do you have something else to say? You're missing a song. I asked you that. three songs. Three songs. And Rockstar. Okay. For me, Rockstar, I'm going to go Mazda. Mm-hmm. Mav Mooch and Times. That's the cloth. Good. And uh, what's your uh, note? Eight on ten. You p- continue. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, the name of the albums that we reviewed just coming out. I'm gonna put them here. I'm gonna put it. Put one here. Put one. Here. Um. For me, it's a four. Jesus. Four out of ten. I'm never gonna go back to this. That's Welcome sure. to a new episode of Steven from the All Time Podcast. <laughs> and this, is, this is probably my last episode. And this is so gonna like... be the last episode of Malenko <laughs> as guys. I kick them out because he has no idea what he's talking about. It's okay. Hey, this, this year, is... how mu- how different we've been this year? That you're on a different planet. You like you're on deep space. And, and I love this shit. because before that's why we do this because before we used to just scream at each other for the albums that come out and stuff and now we can do it in front of everyone right but i'm the hater i get it though i get it though and you gave two to metro Boomin, so come on dog. that's not what i want to hear but it's okay you're in that element i forgive you in it's five awesome. years when you come back never never okay pasemo al otro okay numero dos vega vega seven the ronin and body bag Ben, and let me pick it up right now. Go for let it. Let me pick it up right it's now. It's yours. Take the because floor, I have friend. two ties. That it, uh, my first point that I want to relate to these is how much Griselda have influence on these guys is insane. Oh, absolutely. It's insane. It's absolutely. a good thing, and it's a good thing. It's like absolutely. Thing I'm see. not that. I'm never gonna take away from anybody saying something. Lately, like Lately, I've been just hearing the Griselda sound. Everybody's rapping about wrestling now, right? We are in the era of what happened. We are in the wait, but I'm, I have something to say about that. And <laughs> please correct me if I'm wrong. A lot of these guys, okay, they're our age, so they grew up at the same time as us, watching the same wrestling as us. Yep, they are fans of wrestling, so it's like if I would rap. Thank God I don't. It's like if you would rap, we would use wrestling references because we grew up watching wrestling. Yeah. And I'll probably do a minute and a half songs. Right? Yeah. I would probably do 50 second songs. <laughs> okay. Probably with no drums. So, yeah. And I would just probably just talk about wrestling yeah. because we grew up. So a lot of these guys that are referencing wrestling is because of what they know. Mm hmm. And let and, and let me be clear, like the wrestling that is being referenced now is is the prime wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, they're, and they're, they're not they're not referencing the Miz. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. So and that's my point. 
to bring it to I think Mooch suffered from this album because ah Vega 7 okay. I jo capito mo okay uh, the, I mean the two spitters if you put a spitter to spitter here I mean to me to me It's a no contest. Now I understand. Okay, you didn't say that before. You should have said it. It makes all sense. That's I wanted why to tie were, it up. I wanted to tie it up. That's why you were underwhelmed. I get it now. This, this, this is a full body of work. Three minute songs. You don't need to put a hook. If you can't sing a hook or you don't have a hook for the song, scratch it. And perfect. And the scratching on this is excellent. Prime. You got spitters, and I'm not too familiar with Vega, okay? And that's a mistake because this guy doesn't waste no bars. <laughs> He wastes no bars. There's no filler, none of that. So, damn, this album is an underground. This this is why I like underground because I'm telling you, I was listening and I was thinking about it. Fuck, I'm, I'm going to approach Mooch on the podcast. Oh, man, I'm going to say this. I'm going to be nice. I'm not going to be too heavy on it. But then this Vega guy just destroys him, dog. To me, to me. That you were underwhelmed, and I totally understand that. You were very underwhelmed. Because I like the cloth albums. I like the cloth albums. So when this the album started and I heard that, I'm I'm from from Rochester, New York, and he started rapping that thing. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be the serious one. Mm -hmm. But then it, nothing picked up from that. It never picked up. But we have Kawasaki Killers, and it just puts you right in with the intro. Imagine that, the production for Buddy Bag Ben, that guy is a killer with the piano beats. Let me Crazy. tell you that. And the bass, the drums. I mean the drums he does it he does this this whole this whole project have a spinal cord um I I got to interrupt you Yeah okay. go ahead I put on this album this is the last one I listened to Mhm mm okay the last one I listened to the cover the cover came out the the two or three singles that that were released for this had a different cover um it was the samurai With oh, just, so fucking that's a in nice full picture, blood. Man. Yep, okay. I hope it's a samurai. I'm terrible with this stuff. Um, I was like, what am I gonna get? Because I know it's all his other projects, mm -hmm. like, yes, some fucking crazy albums. This is his fourth one, if I'm not mistaken. Correct mm -hmm. me if I'm wrong. It's his fourth one. So when I saw the cover, the first thing I did was I commented and I said, this cover, because the cover is intense. Yeah. You don't like you, you, you need to come with intensity. You need to come correct. When you have a cover like that, you can't come with really <laughs> mellow stuff. No, no, no. I didn't think I was going to get that. But you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I pressed play as the last of the three we're reviewing. And I stood there. And I kept just restarting the song. Mm -hmm. I would get 20 seconds in, restart. I would get 40 seconds in, restart. I would get a minute, two minutes in, and I would restart the song. Because I was just so, like, kind of, like, in shock mm -hmm. at what I was hearing. Because it really was, like, the cover. Yeah. And I, kept, I mean, it speaks. It speaks to you, man. And It's I important. and 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 the cover was just kept coming back, and the image just kept playing in my head of the cover, the cover, the blood, the samurai, just how intense the cover looked, and it kept going along with what he, his references and how intense he was on it, mm -hmm. like, and the wrestling, yep. like this uh, dude. This dude. Tier. Look, I'm gonna say this. To be able to reference that many different subject matters throughout mm -hmm. your album, you mm -hmm. need to be a smart dude. Like this, like. Well, I mean, with the pen he has, he needs to be a smart dude. He doesn't waste bars. He doesn't none waste of his bars none of bars. Wasted. None of the bars. So, for how to have a pen like this, you need to be up there. I mean, again, I don't want to. I don't want to beat him. And then the last time I'm gonna mention, but. For me, like, 
this guy in you can't three put them songs. Up. You can't put them up. But we, but we can. Because they release on the same weekend. The same underground rappers, they need to go at each other. Mm -hmm. For me. I, I, for me, at least. So, and the first three songs, already I have more reactions to the bars than uh, the whole album of Mooch. It's way more intense. Well, it's way more intense. It, and, I, and, I, and I get what you're saying as the listener. But like... Solamente es mi opinión, amigos. Solamente es mi opinión, amigos. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> That's how I feel, man. I don't want to... I know next time I get in with Trap, he's going to fucking yell at me and tell me... It's okay. <laughs> We're allowed. That's the whole point. It's fun. It got That's me looking like game. a young Mark Calloway when, they, when he slammed the casket. Mm-hmm. They're going to book me for a SummerSlam match. It's got me looking like a young Mark Calloway when he slams the casket. I mean, Steve, on you, Jack. you got full of cool. I like. I'm like going to autograph your body like Hulk Hogan with the spray can. It was no, done. It, it was done. done. When he said that, that, I walked right out of the room. I don't want to listen to the album anymore. He dissed me. I don't this album. He dissed me because he said you didn't watch The Wire yet. <laughs> and he said you're like Kanye before the car crash. <laughs> Come on, Steven. This is because when he said it, like I'm Omar with the plastic bags, I think he said before. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I know Omar, the reference, the name, and I never watched The Wire. So when he, he said that wire line, I, he just cracked me. Undertaker is like Undertaker versus Cactic Jack. I mm -hmm. close the lid on your career like it is a casket match. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. This, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, he got the hooks. On Ghost in a Shell, he got scratch. Uh, he got good scratches. I mean, it's just a well done album. Well me. produced, well put together, well balanced. Because at the middle of the album, with the gray, uh, what is it, gray man? Mm -hmm. Like it's a different, a different beats. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, the beats are different. It kind of yeah. gives you like a break, and it's like okay, now it's a bit. Yeah. We're gonna coast, and then boom, with Lion Tamer. Oh, I, that's the that's the song I was thinking about. That's probably my favorite song in here. Lion Tamer. Oof, that's a that um is so dark. Those beats. what did he it's say? So put dark. you in a break your back. Put you in a lion tamer. Like a, you're in a lion. Anyways, yeah. Chris Jericho's top five for me. <laughs> you know that's so is yeah. easy to you. Yeah, so I when think your song is three for me. Thank you, Vega. When you when you reference my favorite one of my favorite wrestlers mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah and again my 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 girlfriend had to to go through this and when i put this album in i was reacting all over the place i was like oh like i was screaming in the car like oh i was like oh, oh listen to this this is hard this is hard <laughs> she could she was so tired of me but man honestly this album it put me on my ass. I wasn't expecting much from this. And uh, uh, beginning to the end, I don't see no. No flaws, huh? I don't see no flaws. Just man. I really. That's what I expect from an underground rap album. Ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous pen. It's that crazy. finisher, Arlie Bandanas, is ugh, what a great way to finish the album. Um, My emotions got me Billy Dance cold as ice when you <laughs> <laughs> No, it's uh, again, I, I, the, I just want to tell people to go listen to this. You know so. what one of my favorite things to do is, is when I give you an album like this that you have no idea it's coming and I give it to you and I jump up the roof. Mm -hmm. I jump out the roof. Dude, I was ready to I was by, I was ready to put like two, three machine guns in the car. When I write to this, so body yeah. bag Ben gave him a soundscape and he fucking ran with it. Yep. That's the so, word. He gave him he, he paved that way and Vega just like with a with a with a samurai sword throughout yep. the whole album. <laughs> yep. Yep. I mean he's a running, right? Yeah, is, is Vega the running so he's a samurai, so he's um, the guy. Hopefully you're listening to this episode. Can you please make a t-shirt with that on it? I will buy it. Make a crew neck 
with the samurai on it with all the blood i swear to you i'll wear it everywhere i go like a white a white crew neck with the red running on it oh huh how sick that would be just i'll buy it i'll buy it twice okay twice yeah and, and i'll walk give, around, i'll give, go anywhere give to one it. to me give one to me yeah. if you buy it twice take one and i'll buy I'll it i'll walk twice. in a church with it okay <laughs> Okay, I want I want to know your top three songs. Let's go. Top three songs. Uh, so first is Lion Lion Tamer. Uh, New Jack. I love that he put New Jack on here, and Harley Bandana. Do I have, yep. Okay, so I'm gonna go with Imagine That amazing opener. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with Lion Tamer. I have to. And Scott Summer Shades. Yeah, good. And the rest of the album. Yep, great album. I'm What's scoring your, uh... this. I'm scoring this. Nueve. Nueve. That's high. Holy this shit. This ain't no future Metro <laughs> booming. I'm sorry. It's not a solid <laughs> two. Continue. Uh, For me, it's a 7.5. Solid album. 7.5. Don't let me show up to your house with Samurai Swords playing this album. I like, think that's you gonna do. You're gonna out. be making that, huh? but no, seven point five is a great, it's a great album. I think it's gonna grow on me even more. Um, I think maybe you should have risked it a bit more with some, but I mean, it's consistent. I uh, I don't see any flaws on this. Basically, Malenko is basically telling you to go get Metro Booming as your next producer. That's no, I'm not. That's saying what he that. means for you to risk it. No, 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 no. I, and I like the is no no feature on this, huh? So well, Body Bag Ben is the only feature, but again, yeah. So yeah, great album, man. Vega doesn't need features, huh? His other albums don't have features. They have one or two features on the. Album. You know who he reminds me of? Go Thirty Eight Spesh, kind of. That voice, kind of, just the I voice. I see it. Thirty is he's not like he's kind of close of thirty eight Spash. I feel like, I don't know. I, I feel, uh, uh, but he's in, in that genre. He doesn't waste bars. He doesn't waste bars. They're clear as hell. It's, you know what? It, you know what this type of album does. And then we'll move mm -hmm. on. It makes you want to go research things you don't understand. Yeah. Right. Can, yeah, I'm gonna say some. I'm gonna say some crazy right now. Okay. Oh but, boy. To me, like Vega, I, I prefer a style like Vega than like a Rome Street. That's not to me crazy. To me, because I, I, it's more clearer to me. Mm -hmm. Rome is more scripted. If it, is, is it a word? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it should be a word. It's more like scripted. It's more like dif difficult to follow a bit. Vega goes straight to the point. That's it for me. Seven point five out of ten. Good job. All right, the album I don't want to review because I'm nervous, but make, the album we need to review. Make place, make place for the Godfather, huh? Rock Marciano, Marciology. You know what I like about Rock Marciano? I love how I start off album reviews. You know what I like about Rock Marciano? Is what he told like? us two weeks before the album was coming out that it was coming out. I didn't have to wait a month. I didn't have to wait two months. He didn't give me songs. It just said, hey, March 29th, releasing an album. Here's a single. Here's a video. Guess what? Yeah. I had no time to pay attention. I did not go listen to the single. I did not watch the video. Yes, I, me neither. <laughs> I pressed play as this was the first album I put on because it's the Godfather, Rock Marciano. And are you letting me take this away first? Or are you going? Oh, go ahead first. Go first. Okay. When you go into listening to a Rock Marciano album, you need a chisel. And a magnifying glass. Yep. <laughs> yep. Does that make sense? I totally agree. Okay. Mm -hmm. You first of all, I I I listened to this in the car on my way to work, and that was the worst thing I could have done. Why? Because I didn't yeah. hear everything I wanted to hear. First of all, I'm in a Kia Forte 2011, so the <laughs> sound is just terrible. There's no both speakers in there, bro. No. There's no both. So I got I got I got to work. I re put it on. And Rock Marciano, when you first hear his albums, you're not like, this is great. This is fantastic. This is beyond expectations. You don't get that right away. You need mm -hmm. to go in there and keep digging and digging and digging and digging. And that's exactly what I did. Okay? That's exactly what I did. And I think today was maybe the 10th listen I did 
And wow. to, and today is when I just said, wow, I'm excited to review this album because I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to say except for the fact that this man is a complete genius. Like you, You're got, not going to get surprised for me, but I totally agree. On this one, I, I guarantee you can stay calm, Stephen. You're not going to get any surprise from me. I totally agree with you. Like just this. He released a hoodie. And in the hoodie, he is his face it says Marciology, uh, Marcia, Marciology, and it mm -hmm. just beams coming through his eyes, like he's in outer space or like he's an estrial, uh, estrial terrestrial. Mm -hmm. Imagine, I, 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 I can yeah, say it. okay. The dude is like an alien. The dude is like an alien. It's gonna be crazy because in 10, 15, 20 years, cliche. And cheesy as this may may sound, hmm. you're gonna go back and rediscover things about what he does. Oh, for sure. Okay. For sure. Yep. And I loved his past projects. I loved Mount Marcy. Mount Marcy, no joke. Right now is in my top five. If I give you right now okay. on the spot a mm -hmm. fucking top five rock yep. marciano, because he experimented so much with beats on that one. Okay, and it was kind of it was like more of a like an experimental style album. You didn't really hear Rock Marcy on those those type of beats on Mont Marcy, but on this, it's kind of like in the same boat. He's experimenting mm -hmm. with beats, like just like the intro Marciology. By the oh, way, yeah, all three of these albums that came out, the intros are just mind blowing, out of this world, amazing. Okay. But he the, put you in that cover right away with that with that intro. Yeah, you see the cover right away. What's that noise? Is it a key? Is it like uh, the triangle? Ding ding. What is that? Uh, I think it's keys, but they they're just distorted. It's, it's like it's like old the uh, seventies uh, horror movies. The don't ding ding. Yeah, that that I think is just keys, but they're really distorted. Or maybe bells distorted, and or he's, or and he, the the the, the xylophone is back. The xylophone maybe distorted. I don't know. I, it's tough to say. It's one of those, but it's really like a 60, 70 horror movie flick. It goes right with the cover, like you said. Yeah, yeah. It puts you right in that cover. It puts you right in the cover, like you're seeing that in front of you. And he's not. And he's using a different flow. Mm -hmm. Yep. He starts off the album with a different rock marciano flow yes we've heard this flow before but he starts off the album with a different flow yeah yeah uh go please say something because i don't have a lot to say except for the fact that it's fucking brilliant i mean he, i was expecting greatness that's what i had that's what he gave me is is he's the godfather is for the reason uh he created he says and on this he made the old lane um he made the whole lane for people uh i think he started i think marcy on this does marcy i don't think he goes like mount marcy that mount marcy i think was one of his most experimental so albums mm -hmm. this is more classic marcy he did him and i'm happy for that Flows are, he does different flows though on here. He does different flows, and that's gonna I'm gonna talk about later. But um on uh like we talked about Marciology starts with that spooky uh you're in a bad situation type of beat. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then go your god, uh gold crossbow, true love. I think those are more that's you can put a hundred beats, you can make me listen to a hundred beats, and I will say those three are rock marciano classic beats. No? Yeah. Like Absolutely. Go Yard God sounds like sounds like uh the bitter dose too. Like it sounds like bitter dose. So um Gold I mean, Cross uh, Gold Crossbow, his flow on there is is yeah. undeniably one of my favorite flows he's done and he sings i love when he sings home is kidnapped your girlfriend 
Money still make the world spin. I just love when he sings. He have fun on this. So you know he, he likes his oldies, huh? He likes his oldies, so mm -hmm. he likes to sing about it. Um Baby's Kids is great. True love, great. There's no bad song on this. Bad can we speak about bad juju featuring Larry June? Oh dude, when I heard the A I, 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 I jumped. I jumped I, I, again. I went blind to this. Huh? I and didn't he started, know nothing. He, he started the song. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's and the, you, that's the, I think that's the alchemist that produced that. Yes. When you think okay. of when you think of Rock Marciano album and who he's gonna put as featurings, you kind of always get the same type of people, right? Mm -hmm. The yeah. last one he put Cool Keith, with, which I found was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. uh, he has Ka. He has Knowledge the Pirate. He has the Stove Gods. But Larry June? Yeah, I, w I wasn't expecting it at And all. it fit like a glove. Yeah, and that's probably... And Larry June on a drumless beat? There's no drums on there. There's I... no drums. Nothing. You know what they did? It made his voice fit. His voice wasn't too loud. His voice mm -hmm. wasn't too low. It fits just right. That's what something worried me about seeing a Larry June on the featurings. Okay. Like how would he fit on an album of Rock Marciano. Yeah. Because Rock Marciano, like we've like I've said, like we've mentioned, kind of gets more into the experimental bag as the album mm -hmm. were going on, right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's why I like Mouth Marcy is is still uh, you like in a psych ward with the album. Mm -hmm. That's what I always saw it as well. Like Mouth Marcy, you're really like in a psych ward. You're well, is well, he, your sounds coming from everywhere. Well, that's what we should be doing when we listen to a Rock Marciano album. We should be in a psych ward, alone in a straight jacket, in a straight with a straight jacket, trying to really understand what the fuck is going on and trying to fucking try to really understand and but um and catch everything. Yeah, tapeworm, tapeworm is probably my favorite cut in here. That beat with that guitar. I knew you were gonna say that. I knew you were gonna say tapeworm was your favorite. You know which one's my favorite? Which one? The one right after. Oh, Killing Spree <laughs> with my boy, bro, Steven. Steven, you, you know, it's, it's, there's something that life gave to me that I'm really lucky. There was a great match that weekend. So I couldn't watch anything on, on, uh, on Instagram. I can't, because there was, I can't get spoiled for anything. So I totally forgot about Instagram. That's why I don't answer this shit. Um, Terrible. Go. So I didn't know crime was on there. Can you imagine my reaction when this came on? Mm -hmm. I know crime. Rug Marcy is like his top guy. So this is fair rapper. He's mentioned him many yeah, times. Yeah, many times. So when Killing Spree and I heard that, whoa, whoa. When I heard that, I went like, wow. he, he made it. I went like, he made it. And he gave, I mean, Does Crime Up or ever sleep on a beat? Never. Never. He's a killer. He's my top guy. And that's why he's my top guy. And he made mention of a rock about them. Uh, when he was uh, poor, when, Mar when Marsburg came out. Man, I mean, Crime Up. Thank you. Uh, can you do me a favor? I'm going to call you out now. Then we can continue. Okay, go call me out. When the fuck are you going to buy something off Mantega? I don't I, know. I should I, buy something from my you, I, I say every time he drops, I send you the hoodies. I send you the caps. He just came out with the track suit. It's yeah. I, I, I just don't understand you. You with the track suit with the Mantega. Yeah, la Mantega. What? <laughs> I should, bro. I should. Fuck. Um, uh, a crew neck, a nice crew neck. He does nice t-shirts. Well. Oh, when diamonds, my favorite song. Forget it. I'm telling it to you now. I when when diamond. With that, that's, that that's rock cocaine Marci excellence. With that classic rock Marciano flow on there. That's cocaine excellence. Higher self with, with TF. TF. I and love Fle TF. Dude, mm -hmm. TF, when he came out, he wasn't rapping to beats like this. No. First time I heard TF was on uh, Schoolboy Q. Yeah, it was the last song on uh, On Tuki Nose. On Tuki Nose, yeah. Blank Tuki Nose too. Mm -hmm. So I didn't expect him to go on these drumless beats and these loops. Dude, he flows on this perfectly. Mm -hmm. Flea, I'm happy to hear back Flea. 
It's something about it. I, I miss Flea. I love how he raps. I always love how he raps. I think the 12 album on in 12 months didn't help. I, I mean, again. No, I fuck? don't think it helped. I don't think he helped. I think he should have maybe brought it back a bit. I mm -hmm. I I lost him in that area yeah, when he started doing that. I I I like two me or too. three albums of that, but then it's too much. So to hear him back on this, fun. Le Flair, oh, Le Flair is classic. I mean, this is classic rock. I don't know what the hell. If you you listen to us right now. Is because you know Rock Marcian, right? Our listeners know Rock Marcian. Mm -hmm. So, this is the best. I mean, this is maybe to me. I'm gonna say it right now. I think it's top uh -oh. three of his projects. Uh oh. I think this is top three for me. I was totally shocked by this. On the run with Jay Wordy. Yeah. How amazing is that he uses these West Coast guys, and it sounds. So in place, so on the correctly, run, like correct, the way he does those correctly put together. Yeah, his production is the way he he, he really puts his albums together. He, the, like he does everything, right? Rock Myers Samuel everything. produces most of the album. Okay, he I'm sure he engineers it. I'm sure mm -hmm. when he's put, he puts the tracks the way he wants them. Mm -hmm. he, he's able to really globally put together his album not yeah. just put songs here and there he like he really is able to touch every single piece of the puzzle for his album to really sound the way they all do yep larry bird with knowledge of pirate him and knowledge always on top every album huh everything everything they did together knowledge always always bring it rock marcy knows why he puts him on mm -hmm. on here uh, um And the last song, Flux. Is it Flux? <laughs> Flux, Flow what Triple is, X. What is it? He's using the same instrument that he's using on the first song? No, that's a guitar. The Twingling? Okay. Yeah, it's probably a, a, a guitar that he speed up. I think it's tough to say. I, I think it's a, it's a guitar that he just sped up. Mm-hmm. Dun, da -da 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 -da. With the the drums on there sound so great that rambling bat of that uh, oh no the the drums are just rambling around. It's very it's... experimental. It's very different that, that a style of beat like this. I mean, it's just to me, it's Rock Marcy just comes in the scene and just reminds people why he's the Godfather all the time. He never fails. He never fails. And you don't get anything bad. And these beats, a lot of these beats, it's only Rock Marciano that can rap on beats like this. It's yeah, like it's, it's tough it, for it'd be to difficult for other people to take this and really make something of it. That's just mm -hmm. my opinion. Yeah, no, I mean, I think it's top three for me. You top five? You said no. Whoa, hold on a second. Uh, it's really good. It's really excellent. If look here, <laughs> it's really tough. Because he has one of the best catalogs in all of hip hop. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think when you listen to Rock Marciano, you kind of always say, oh, this is top five, this is top five, this is top three, this is top two, this is top one. So it's kind of hard to put a, mm -hmm. an, a, a list together because it, it continuously changes, mm -hmm. but it's really excellent. I think, I think it's better than the Elephant Man Bones. Shit. Oh yep. boy, yeah, I think it's better than this last album. Oh boy, my favorite of his is the Bitter Dose. The That's Bitter not... Dose is my favorite. No, me, it's Reloaded. Number one is Reloaded. To me, is the Bitter Dose. I think, I think, and right away, like I have my one clear. To me, I don't know why, but the bitter dose to me is That's all fair. my all my favorite song of his are in there. I That's think fair. I I just the sauce, Spring King, Sax Fifth, Kill You, <laughs> um, Respected is one of my favorite intros all time. Bohemian Grove. Oof. Um, listen with knowledge of pirate on there. Um, 
So yeah, I think it's top three for me. I would put the bitter dose. I would put number two. It's reloaded, and I will give you Marciology as three. Do me a favor. Go put Marcia Lago on, okay? And, and then that's the one. My, then call my phone. And that's the one, but... Then call know, my cell phone. You know, I think... No, I, I stand by it. I think it's top three. I think it's top three. I need to go back and a deep dive on this. And, uh, man, I wish I would have seen the Abyss episode. I would have thrown in my top five then but. yeah go watch it i love the way they break <laughs> it down and it kind of like an episode like that when you do like we did with the schoolboy and they did it with the mm -hmm. rock marts it's like you go in and you're just like oh shit yep like what's number one what's number two how do i defer which one's better than the other what happens if they're both good how do i place them uh, shouldn't i put this one here like it's like fucking i don't know it's it's it is just it's a lot it's yep. a lot. Mine changed from what I posted. Go see what I posted. It completely changed. I didn't even see, so I can't wait to see that. Uh, yeah. So on 10? This a 9. Oh, a yeah. Nine. This is a 9. Easy. Yeah. Easy. And think, I think it's just going to grow. I think it's just going to grow the more I listen to it. So not to sound like a psychopath, I'm giving it a 9 as well. I was going to give it a 9.5. I just don't want sound like a psychopath but it's fucking excellent i mean again i stand by it i think it's top three did any of the abyss guys put it on the top three do you know no this album by this memory one came, this, okay this, this it one wasn't came, included yeah no 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 no. i mean i may be top three because jesus released and i've been listening to it for the whole weekend so maybe that affect to it because if i take it out this stuff this stuff but yeah nine i go i mean go listen to it you guys know it. It's Rock Marcy. Hate it or love it. He's a he's a godfather is this man. So it's crazy because if he if I ever go see him in show and he's coming to Toronto and we should drive down with Danny to go see the show in May. Oh, I, we really I, should. I, I don't want to be front row. I want to be sitting on a chair mm -hmm. where I could see the full stage and just watch. Watch yeah, the I, art form develop in person. Me, no. I don't want to be close from no one because I, I might backslap someone. Huh? <laughs> just for pimp. Just for fucking talking shit to me. I'll, I'll, pimp, I'll pimp slap him because of this. I'm telling you. And I might do a manicure before going. <laughs> that's how, I, that's how pimp, pimpish I might go on there. Huh? So... Yeah. You have what a, a weekend. Of, yeah, and you have a lot of work to do because you got to fucking edit this whole thing. Uh, before we get up out of here, anything you want to add? Uh, not much. Not much. Um, great, great, great month of March that just done. Now uh, we're April. Now we're in April. So let's see what comes out. Big April. I, I just have one in mind that I want to go and listen to it that I haven't got time yet to listen is a uh, AZ Shike AZ Shike album came out uh, March 8th and he's the rapper on movie on Blue Lips um, so uh and that song man I love that song Blue yeah. Lips has just grown on me even more send me so, send so, me the album I'm going to listen to it to make you happy and so I something new I'm going to listen to that I'm going to listen to it first because I'll know if you like it or not. Just send it. I'm going to I'm gonna take a chance. I like taking chance. I like discovering new things. What else do I have to do in my life? Um, you know what's coming out, huh? Well, you, you know because you, you're lost. You, you're in a different... Yo, 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 yo no sé. Yo no sé. I, I can't follow the, all this. What's coming out? Tell me. Mickey Diamond. On the, again. Super Shredder. Oh, you send me that. It's true. <laughs> yeah, the fo yeah. the follow-up. Part two, I guess. Yeah. Of uh, Arokusaki. We got to take the day off. We got to take the day off. We're going to review that on here, guys. Keep uh, keep listening. We're uh, going to do that. Cooking Soul and Mussolini. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Well, what else do you have for me? You have another uh, one? J Rhymes. J Rhymes, and J Rhymes, ECW, Extreme Charismatic, Wise Guy. I need <laughs> you to go listen to that. 
I'm gonna listen to that. That's I a need great, you to listen that's a to great that. Title. That's a great title. And bro. I know you. And there's a lot of ECW in there. You, you, you. I know you're gonna love it because it's all ECW wrestling oh, yeah. references. These so I'm gonna have to to break a beer on my head. Absolutely, and drink it with the the crowd, right? Absolutely, you're gonna jump from the. You're gonna jump into the crowd like Sabu. Yeah. Oh yeah. Spike bats and everything. And Primo Jab Japacalypto. So Primo the, Jab. Okay. There's all that. There's all. It's just nonstop continuation. Nonstop continuation. I love it. What a great year. What a great year. Great, uh, great year, man. Great year. Okay, so That's we got to. Yeah, so let's get out of here. We, I got to go watch Raw or whatever is going on. The week of WrestleMania is here. The week of yeah. WrestleMania. Oh, yeah. Dude, we're doing something on Saturday. I'm bringing. Are you, are you coming? Are you coming course. Saturday or Sunday? S Saturday. You're coming Saturday, not Sunday for the big one. No, when when you ah, uh, so it's better to come on Sunday. Sunday is Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns, and well, if he wins the first night, no, they're fighting no matter what. The okay. first night is the tag match. It, the if if they lose, it's bloodline rules. If they win, there's nobody allowed to come and interfere. Oh, okay, 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 okay. No, but oh, you're okay. coming for Cody Rhodes, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, uh, Drew McIntyre. Oh, so on Sunday night, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Which whatever come whatever night you want. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're gonna watch that. It's gonna yeah. be fun. All right, thanks for tuning in. I am your host, the Ayatollah Hip Hop, the whole damn show, the Radar Podcaster, and one half of the Tag Team Champions Del Mundo, with the co-host Lenko, the most titled man in the podcast history. <laughs> okay, that's me. Aquí estoy. Thank you for listening, man. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. Right? I, I was waiting for you to say, we got two words for you. And got, <laughs> I was about to say, like and subscribe. <laughs> YouTube, Stephen from the All Time Podcast. Yeah. Instagram, at Stephen.AllTime. I'm on Apple Music. No, Apple Podcast. Yep. I'm on Spotify. I'm everywhere. Yeah. And, and if you um, Yeah, go. Oh, sorry for cutting you off. For um, for people, if they want to, on the comments, leave us yes your favorite album of the week. If you listen to it, tell me yes. how an uh, idiot I am for not mm -hmm. liking the mooch. Mm -hmm. Four out of ten million. Like, how can you do that, you idiot? Uh, but I watch a comment, so I might hit you back. Um, and uh, leave us maybe your top five. Rock Marcy, give him some, give us some, uh, some uh, ratings. Things. Some ratings. Some, We're going to have fun. Some Let's heat. Do... Some heat. Give him the heat. And uh, Malenko, if you're not down with that, we got two words for you. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. Peace.